So, uh,
be there for some time only. Fine, fine, sir. Okay. Uh, Dr. Pradeep will be there from our department. He will be able to give you his That is, sir. If you have doubt, I will take his hand. If they have any doubt, directly you can talk to them. Okay. Then, Doctor, uh, anybody is neighbor from the man's? Dr. Pradeep is there. He is from our ah. department. Oh, uh, Dr. Pradeep? Dr. Pradeep, yes, sir. I will attend. Yes, I'm here. Okay. Welcome, welcome to this webinar, sir. And uh, okay. Madam Kate Nungla. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Audible, sir. Yes, sir. Audible. Is it audible? Uh, which language you will you prefer, ma'am? Is it uh, English and Tamil? Is uh, okay? Or you want to tell in Tamil or how you want to oh. proceed, ma'am? Sir, both, both languages are uh, okay, sir. Both languages are okay. Uh, because if you want to tell Tamil, then uh, myself and Srikumar are there. Otherwise, we, we, are, we are comfortable in other languages. No problem. So, you uh, will go ahead in English and Tamil? Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah, okay, fine. So, once, once again, good evening to all. And uh, uh, this is uh, the uh, NIMANS. The NIMANS, the name is NIMANS. Uh, it's a National Institute of Mental Health and Neuroscience. And we have, we have made one small, uh, uh, this one, PPT. I want to show to that one. And the PPT path to moon, if you have any doubt, uh, you can ask me after this explanation. You can either ask me if you have any doubt. Is that OK? Is that okay with you? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Ah, okay, fine. And this uh, demands before the demands, just I'll, I'll say a few words about the demands before going for the directly the course. For demands about the Nanata is called earlier, it was called as a, it was uh, before that. Sorry, before before that, I would like to uh, want to introduce my staff over here. And here the uh, Yuraj, just show it here. Just, uh, this, uh, my right side, my left side is uh, Miss uh, Sudha Madam is there, and she is the assistant administrative officer. This side is uh, Kalavati, is there, she is a manager and uh, for academic and evaluation section. And that's it, which is uh, uh, Jeffrey Joshua, he is uh, taking care of all the BSc uh, uh, undergraduates and uh, postgraduate and undergraduate students. He is the case of them. Okay? And also, there's one uh, our technician uh, called uh, Uraj, and he is taking care of all uh, the technical courses. Now, NIMAX is uh, during the earlier it was called as a All India Mental um, All India Institute of, uh, All India Institute of Mental Health in uh, uh, during 1954. It was called as a All India Institute of Mental Health. Then what happened after the after the few years? It is Amal am amalgamated into the Autonomous Institute. The Karnataka State Government put up, say in the Nimans, uh, it was called earlier, it was called Mental Hospital. Renda Vana said it became the autonomous during 1974. After that, during 1994, the Nimans became a team university. And after that, the, during 19, uh, 2012, uh, 2012, it became INI. It's called Institute of National, National Importance. So, in the India, I want to look on the INI, one of the Institute of INI, that is called Institute of National Importance. It's called Institute of National Importance and it is approved in the uh, parliament. So, the INI Institute, one of the uh, Delhi, AMS Delhi, second one of the, the Jigmar, Pondicherry, Jigmar. Then fifth is the Nimas, the Bangalore Nimas. These are the five institutes who got the Institute of National Importance. That's called INI Solvanga. It's a institute I INI. Okay. Then after that, we started uh, service uh, one section of the technical and research and clinical. And everything is going on. The demands and we are or academic is the wing is there. Academic is we are taking care of the academic. In the academic level, one day, we are dealing with both the graduates, that is undergraduates as well as postgraduates. Postgraduates, we have almost 87 courses are running at this institute. 
and undergraduate <coughs> we are running only four courses and these these are the four courses that the undergraduate courses are at nimans is bsc is bsc in nursing bsc in radiography bsc in anesthesia technology bsc in clinical neurophysiology technology so these are the course four courses we are running at nimans so the, in the non course game the entry level if you want to have what is the uh, the entry level 12th pass i think they should the person should be puc or plus 2 whatever you called as a plus 2 so let's take like the plus 2 rank so let's get the puc rank so what are the 12th course 12th course of murchinaga they are 12th standard 12th standard murchinaga the eligibility for to write this exam and 45% neenga unga subject le eduthirukkanum subject na mother tongue neenga tamil la irundaga mother tongue tamil la tamil thavirittu michadhu unga english for example for example i am telling you for bsc nursing bsc nursing we will take into count of only four subjects adu vandu one english second physics chemistry biology so these are the four subjects we will take into consider and you should take minimum of 45 percentage aggregate to take the entrance exam at nipans okay then what about other other courses other courses also the same 45% but their mathematics is important for example the other courses like uh, uh, radiology anesthesia and bcnt course and the moon course ko me ninga eduthukonu sonna na ka you have to take you know the mathematics irukono adu vandu that's called pcmp nu solvanga illa in english physics chemistry mathematics in the naluk le 45% aggregate irundha da you can write the nimans exam your as you munadi ponga course solunga the course you take the course the four course you should ah this see these are the courses first now the ungalku or inna idu say na na vandha second page mudichirukken then if there is a what is the what is this go if i after completion of the second pc bsc nursing you can take you can also enroll in bsc in nursing in bsc in radiography you can also enroll in bsc anesthesia technology and you and, and also you can enroll in bsc clinical neurophysiology technology bsc nursing ungalku ella theriyum adu enna adu what is the nursing it is nothing but taking care of the patient bsc nursing adu vandu it, it is a patient oriented patient taking care of the patients only second one the bsc radiography na ungalku summa or vega enna enna na radiography na that is x ray ct MRI, angiogram, and the Madela Rakunda on the BSC radiography on the uh, it's a paramedical of the uh, hospital in uh, our unit, BSC radiography. Second one, you will tell you the anesthesia in Anaka and if operation for Mangal, anesthesia, other one who will give local anesthesia, people who will give where anesthesia will come up in the AGP, Uda, the Mike Osi group, in the AD operation for Naka, we have to give this much of anesthesia only. All those things, readings and studies and everything will, will come across once you go into the BSC in anesthesia technology. After this uh, session, if you have anything in Bindi, Uh, you can directly you can ask the technician a technical person is that our doctors will be there and they will answer for your question in the in detail and fourth is that bs in clinical neurophysiology technology is nothing but ninga edho or hospital ponalume you will be taking care of the the cardiac you know, admit ayalume eeg enmg andha madella edukona illa andha ma technical la ninga padikonaa you should be in well versed in the this clinical neurophysiology technology padichina tha ungal eeg enmg adalla ungal varanuna Uh, you have to read these are the courses so in the nimans la either in the paramedical these four courses we are undertaking students are there and uh, every year in the month of september uh, when the course will start the course will start in the month of september these are the four courses we are running at nimans so far i have told is it any anything any any doubt in this or any questions or any doubt in this ஓகே ஸோ தெர் ஆர் டோட்டலி ஃபோர் கோர்சஸ் இருக்கு ஒன்று பார்த்தோம் அப்படின்னா பிஎஸ்சி நர்சிங் தென் அதர் தென் பிஎஸ்சி நர்சிங் நம்மளுக்கு பிஎஸ்சி ரேடியாலஜி பிஎஸ்சி இன் அனஸ்பெஷியல் டெக்னாலஜி 
பிஎஸ்சி இன் கிளினிக்கல் நியூரோ பிசியாலஜி டெக்னாலஜி இருக்கு ஸோ இந்த நாலு யூஜி கோர்சஸும் நம்மளுக்கு டுவெல்த் முடிச்சதுக்கு அப்புறம் நிம்ஹான்ஸ்ல அவைலபிளா இருக்கு ஸோ இப்போ நீங்க ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் உங்களுக்கு பிஎஸ்சி நர்சிங் இல்லைனா அதர் பேராமெடிக்கல் கோர்சஸ் ஜாயின் பண்ணணும் அப்படின்னு உங்களுக்கு இன்ட்ரெஸ்ட் இருக்கு அப்படின்னா நம்மளுக்கு நிம்ஹான்ஸ்ல இந்த நாலு கோர்சஸ் அவைலபிளா இருக்கு ஃபர்தரா இந்த கோர்சஸ் ரிலேட்டடா உங்களுக்கு ஏதாவது டவுட் இருக்கு அப்படின்னா நீங்க கேட்கலாம் ஸோ இப்போ பிஎஸ்சி நர்சிங் பார்த்தோம் அப்படின்னா நம்மளுக்கு பிஎஸ்சி நர்சிங் காலேஜோட பிரின்சிபல் அவங்க ஜாயின் பண்ணிருக்கிறாங்க தென் கிளினி பிஎஸ்சி இன் கிளினிக்கல் நியூரோ பிசியாலஜி டெக்னாலஜி அந்த டிபார்ட்மெண்டோட அடிஷனல் ப்ரொஃபஸர் ஸ்ரீகுமார் சாரும் நம்ம கூட ஜாயின் பண்ணியிருக்கிறாங்க ஸோ உங்களுக்கு இது ரிலேட்டடா ஃபர்தரா எந்த டவுட் இருந்தாலும் நீங்க கேளுங்க ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் இப்போ பிஎஸ்சி நர்சிங் காலேஜ்ல எனக்கு அட்மிஷன் கிடைக்கணும் அப்படின்னா நான் என்ன மாதிரி ப்ரிப்பேர் பண்ணணும் ஸோ ஒன்ஸ் நான் பிஎஸ்சி நர்சிங் முடிச்சதுக்கு அப்புறம் எனக்கு இருக்கக்கூடிய ஒய்ட் ஸ்கோப்ஸ் அண்ட் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் என்ன இருக்கு ஸோ அதே போல ஒவ்வொரு கோர்சஸுக்கும் நீங்க வந்து கேட்கலாம் உங்களுக்கு ஸோ ஃபீல் ஃப்ரீ டு ஆஸ்க் இப்போ வந்து உங்களுக்கு கன்வீனியன்டான லாங்குவேஜ்ல அவங்க உங்களுக்கு சொல்லுவாங்க சோ நீங்க அன்மியூட் பண்ணிட்டு உங்களுக்கு என்ன டவுட் இருந்தாலும் நீங்க கேட்கலாம் நீங்க உங்களுக்கு அன்மியூட் பண்ணிட்டு கேட்கலாம் அப்படி இல்லைன்னா சேட் பாக்ஸ்ல கூட நீங்க கொஸ்டின் பிளேஸ் பண்ணலாம் சார் மதுரை டிஸ்ட்ரிக்ட்ல இருந்து ஒரு கொஸ்டின் கேட்டிருக்காங்க சீட்ஸ் எத்தனை சீட்ஸ் வந்து அப்ளிகபிள்னு சொல்லி கேட்டிருக்காங்க சார் ஒரு 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 நிமிஷம் ஐ ஹேவ் ஈச் கோர்ஸ் சார் யா ஈச் கோர்ஸ் ஈச் கோர்ஸ் ஐ டெல் யூ ஐ வில் கம் டு தட் பாயிண்ட் கோ ஹெட்மா ஆ திஸ் இல்ல இல்ல இது முன்னாடி சீட் இல்ல நெக்ஸ்ட் தட்ஸ் ஆல் ஐ ஆ see these are the four courses i told you one is the college of nursing bsc and another one is the department of neuro anesthesia neuro neuro critical care will take care of the bsc neuro anesthesia and department of neuro imaging and interventional radiology will take care of the neuro radio radiography uh, radiology sorry radiology and another one is the department of neurology that is bcnt course will taken care by the department of neurology so minimum as i told you the minimum qualification should be 12th pass with the 45 percentage for the entrance exam இப்போ இந்த நாலு 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 எக்ஸாம் எழுதுறதுக்கு தெர் வில் பி ஒன்லி ஒன் காமன் என்ட்ரன்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் இட் பி தேர் அட் டிமான்ஸ் டிமான்ஸ்ல உங்களுக்கு ஒரு காமன் என்ட்ரன்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் இருக்கும் அந்த காமன் என்ட்ரன்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் வந்து நீங்க அப்ளிகேஷன் அப்ளை பண்ணும்போது யூ ஹாவ் டு அப்ளை இட் இண்டிவிஜுவலி யூ ஹாவ் டு பே மணி அண்ட் யூ ஹாவ் டு அப்ளை இட் ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஒன் அப்ளிகேஷன் ஃபார் ஃபைவ் ஹண்ட்ரடோ இல்ல தௌசண்டோ வாட் எவர் த அமௌண்ட் வில் பிஸ்கஸ் அமௌண்ட் வி வில் டெல் யூ தட் அமௌண்ட் யூ ஹவ் கிவ் ஒன் அப்ளிகேஷன் வில் காஸ்ட் ஒன்லி தட் பிரைஸ் வில் காஸ்ட் ஒன்லி ஒன் அப்ளிகேஷன் If you are willing to apply for the all three courses, if you want to take your know, first chance, <coughs> Nero, Nero nursing category, sorry, BAC nursing category, then I, my option will be BAC radiography. If a BAC radiography is not in the then you can go for the BAC in, BAC, BAC in the course or anesthesia course, anything. But for that, you have to pay individually, you have to pay the money. But to write the exam, there will be only one exam. It's called common entrance exam. Fine? so in the common exam minimum qualification percentage will be there for under uh, for uh, unreserved obc ewc will be 50% and sc st pwd for 45% this is qualifying percentage in the entrance test but your result will be based on the on merit only on merit only or your uh, result will be there on, on merit basis but qualifying percentage the entrance test will be for 50% for the unreserved sst and uh, pwd that is a physically challenged people they will be 45% should they should take in the exam and this examination yarala exam edukala anaka the examination will be for the age for the 17 years to 25 years in general 17 years to 25 years even go wise adukulla you can take this exam and for sst there will be relaxation of a five years age relaxation for the obc there is a three years of age relaxation is there and this bsc course i'll tell you what the duration of the course the bsc in radiography bsc anesthesia technology bsc in clinical neurophysiology technology is for only for 3 years after 3 years you can work as a intern intern trainee you know vela seila for that we will pay 3 13500 rupees we will pay some amount for the, for the style, like like a stipend we are stipend you will get for the intern one year and bsc nursing is for courses the course itself for four years after the completion of the four years five fifth year you can work as a intern so in the intern only yaarume compulsory kediyadu if you are willing to work you can work 
For that, you'll be paid for the 13,500. So that's one. Second thing is, now, come to the BSC nursing, the fees. For example, the fees, the general category, 53,000, including tuition fees, admission fees, everything for first year, you'll be paying 53,000. And you will get accommodation here free of cost. Your accommodation will be free of cost for the UG students. And, and for the SCSC student, you have to pay 38,000 rupees for a BSc nursing. And second year, like when the first year comes, second year, you will be paying only the tuition fees. The tuition fees will be the for uh, uh, the, the 20, uh, 20,000 and uh, the 20,000 for the 20,000. Sorry, uh, BSc student, second year. 20,000, something around 20,000, you will be paying tuition only the tuition, tuition fees will be paid. But BSc radiography and BSc anesthesia and BSc in technology, in neurophysiology technology, you will be paying 25,050 rupees. This is including your caution money of 55,000 rupees will be there in this. deposit is there. That when the, at the time of relieving the course, you will get back that 5,000 rupees. So 5,000 is cost money deposit, we will take it. At the time of relieving you, after receiving all the notice, we will give your 5,000 rupees back to you. Okay, so these are the course, course duration I told you, and fees I told you, BS radiography and anesthesia, first year, 20,000 rupees, second year, you will be paying only 10,000 or 12,000, that's all. Every year, you will be paying 10, 10 plus 1, 10 plus 1 exam, you will get, you will be paying only 12,000 rupees. And even for the BSc nursing, first year only you are paying 53,000 and 38,000. And the next year, and you subsequently you will be paying, end up paying the only, only 30, 35,000 and 20,000. That's 35,000 tuition fees for the second year general and uh, SCSP for 20,000 for BSc nursing. For the, and next for further. And seat, as you said, seat allocation. See, now, BSc nursing, we have 85 seats. In that 85 seats, it based on the seat reservation ratio or roster, we are following the roster based on that all India category, we are giving 35 seats. All India category, India and the R and Nevanala apply Panda, only Mukha than the seat would draw. Karnataka domicile is from the Amba seat. Ana, in the Karnataka seat domicile fill Avalan Sanaka, that seat will carry forward to the all India category. So, PSC nursing, we are giving 85. Sanctioned seat. It's a government of India is approved for the 85 seat BAC in nursing for four years course. In that, the all India category is 35 seat and the Karnataka domicile category is 50 seat. Okay. In all India category 35 seat, we have made separation that is unreserved. You are in unreserved 14 seat. EWS na economic weaker section to four seats. OBC is nothing but other backward cast is nine seat. SC is scheduled cast is five seat. Yes, the scheduled tribe is three seat in the all India category. Karnataka domestic seat level, we can put it from UR na 20, EWS na 5, OBC na 14, SC na 7, SC na 4. Anna, but subject to if these seats are not filled with that at Karnataka domestic category, these seats will be carried forward to the all India category. In all India category, based on the merit marks and based on the category, we will be uh, allotting the seats. The 85 for the BSC and C. Next. Then BSc radiography, we have 11 seats. In that 11 seat BSc radiography, we have all India category the 4 seat and Karnataka domicile is the 7 seat. The 4 seat level, the U are the rent seat, EW is 1 seat and OBC is 1 seat. Same thing, Karnataka domicile category is 7 seat level, U are is a 4 seat and OBC is 2 seat, SC is 1 seat. So we have 11 seat in BSc in radiography. Next. Then BSc in anesthesia technology, we have 11 seat. <coughs> Same thing, UR2, AWS1, OBC1, and Karnataka domestic category 7 seats, UR4, and OBC2, and SC1. These are the 11 seat in BSc in anesthesia technology. Inga kuna avadha, Karnataka domestic seat illa, in yaar, student illa naga, this seat will be carried forward to the all India selected seat in Kodo. Next. BS in clinical neurophysiology technology lab, we have is it, seven, seven. seven seater in that all India selected two seat that is unreserved two seat and Karnataka domicile category is four seat and URX two seat, EW is one seat, OBC is one seat, 
அண்ட் ஸ்பான்சர் ஸ்பான்சர் சீட்னா என்னன்னா யாராவது வேற ஸ்டேட்ல இருந்து இல்ல வேற கம் கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் கர்நாடகா இல்ல கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் தமிழ்நாடு கவர்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் ஆந்திரா ஏதாவது எந்த ஸ்டேட் கவர்மெண்ட்ல இருந்தா அவங்க ஸ்பான்சர் பண்ணாங்க அவங்களுக்கு சம்பளம் வந்து சேலரி ஆர் ஸ்டைபன் எனிதி எவ்ரி தேர் கெட் ஃப்ரம் தேர் பேரண்ட் கம்பெனில தான் அவங்களுக்கு ஒர்க் கிடைக்கும் ஸோ அவங்க தான் ஸ்பான்சர்ஷிப்னு சொல்லுவோம் அவங்க யாராவது ஸ்பான்சர் பண்ணி அவங்க சைட்ல இருந்து யாராவது ஒரு கேண்டிடேட் அனுப்பிச்சாங்கன்னா தே கேன் வி வில் ஹேவ் ஒன் சீட் ஃபார் தி பிசிஎம் கோர்ஸுக்கு ஒன் சீட் ஸ்பான்சர் சீட் இஸ் தேர் இஃப் ஸ்பான்சர் சீட் ஆஃப் இஸ் நாட் ஃபில் இஃப் ஸ்பான்சர் சீட் நாட் ஃபில் இட் கோ ஓகே ஸோ திஸ் ஸ்பான்சர் சீட் ஒன் இட் இல் நாட் கெட் கன்வெர்டட் அட் ஆல் அப்படின்னா அவங்களுக்கு இந்த சீட்டை வந்து யாருமே கொடுக்க மாட்டாங்க ஸ்பான்சர்ஷிப் வந்தா தான் கொடுக்குவோம் அப்போ இந்த டோட்டல் சீட் இஸ் ஒன்லி வி ஹேவ் ஒன்லி சிக்ஸ் சீட்ஸ் ஒன்லி த சிக்ஸ் சீட்ஸ் தட் இஸ் ஃபார் ஆல் இண்டியா செலக்டட் சீட் ரெண்டு கர்நாடக கவுன்சில் கேட்டகரிக்கு நாலு அந்த ஸ்பான்சர் சீட் வந்து அது அது யாரும் வரலன்னா தட் வில் இட் இட் கேட் அதே சொல்லதான் வச்சுக்கோ யாரும் வரல எனிங் நெக்ஸ்ட் மேடம் யா டெல் மீ நவ் டு யூ ஹேவ் எனி டவுட் இன் திஸ் யூ டெல் மீ மேம் எஸ் சார் எஸ் Let me check with the students, sir. Yeah, yeah, please. Uh, students, now we have four courses. Me, B.Sc. Nursing, B.Sc. in Clinical Neurophysiology, Radiology and Anesthesiology. So, in the four courses, we have to explain the seats of the seats. So, there are all in India category level. So, then domicile category level seats are applicable, available. So, we have to explain the seats of the seats. இல்லாம அடுத்தபடியா உங்களுக்கு இந்த கோர்ஸ் ரிலேட்டடா வேற ஏதாவது டவுட் இருக்கு அப்படின்னா நீங்க கேட்கலாம் ஆஹ் சார் சாட் பாக்ஸ்ல நம்மளுக்கு கொஸ்டின் ரைஸ் பண்ணிருக்காங்க சார் என்ட்ரன்ஸ் எக்ஸாம் பேட்டர்ன் பத்தி டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ண சொல்லிருக்காங்க தென் வெரி குட் ஈவினிங் டு ஆல் ஆஃப் யூ uh regarding the entrance exam uh, the puc whatever the pcb e uh, whatever they are studying no in the puc plus 2 uh, uh, subjects the based on that only they will ask questions and some uh, some questions will be on general knowledge so they will ask so these are the categories of they have to prepare P- based on P- puc only the subject which they have studied physics chemistry biology and english plus uh, they will they will have some uh, questions on general knowledge so already sir has told murgan sir has told about the percentage they have to obtain 50% for other categories some categories he has mentioned no that uh, for, for only 40, 45% they will take any other Madam, doubts mana purijidilla yes sir yes sir ma purij sir இதுக்கு <laughs> 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 0.25 marks that is 25 0.25 marks will be negative questions for example for example i am telling you one student attended five questions in the anji question la one question wrong question attend panna that in the wrong question attend panadukku five la one minus poidum for having attended the wrong question the one directing one mark will go so you'll get only four marks in that four marks for having attended the wrong questions negative marking marking will be the 0.25 marks appo question aga on varudhu 3.75 only you'll get the marks for example five questions gotten pannaka in five questions the person the students answer for the five questions he will get five marks in that five marks at the time of correction in the five marks one mark the wrong questions the answer pannirunda he will get negative 0.25 that is one mark will go if for having already attended for the wrong questions and top of that 0.25 it will go for negative marking so he will get only 3.75 marks for the five marks this you can multiply into 50 marks or 100 marks go you can you know answer count panikla so it's a 90 minutes per 100 questions unanswered questions there won't be any negative marks unanswered panaka ungalku edha there won't be any negative marks but if you answer the all the questions 
and if the, your answers are not correct, definitely you will get negative marks of the 0 0.25 marks. Anything else? Plus one. Madam, uh, you Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, if we have four courses, if we have four courses, entrance exam pattern and the syllabus is the same, then there is no courses to course variation. Sir. Okay, sir, the common entrance is called common entrance exam. Common entrance. So, common entrance. All of them are common entrance. That's why, Madam, you said, just like so Madam told you, whatever they studied in the PUC level, along with that, they will get some general knowledge questions. General knowledge questions and general English. English also is there. Ah, that's it, ma'am. Can write, ma'am. Kathi, ma'am, is it correct? Uh, yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, correct. So they will be having some English, uh, English also. Yes. English grammar, grammar uh, questions will be there, and also they will have some uh, questions on general knowledge. Correct. Total hundred questions will be there. And 90 minutes will be given. And common entrance exam for all the four courses. Uh, sir, or a chinna clarification, sir. If a common entrance exam, if for all courses suk make common entrance exam of dinner, if over courses suk eligibility where I For example, nursing ku namluk one the bio CS, like biology, PC. B, but the students when the physics, chemistry, and biology, but the students are But when the uh, radiology, Ilana, anesthesia, technology, Adakan Patha, Pina, Max, particularly students, so applicable along Koda Eladala. So Abdin Rasamethla, for BSc nursing Matu or Porno Payano choose Pandranga, the kind of entrance exam Elda Varanga, Abdin Bode, Max related questions when the Irkuma, sir. BSc nursing Matam Max career. BSc nursing syllabus Max career. Uh, madam, let me clarify this. That is only for the eligibility criteria. Somebody who is applying for BSc in radiography or BSc in anesthesia technology, even they must have studied uh, mathematics. As well as somebody who is uh, who has studied biology would have also studied mathematics. So that is only for the eligibility criteria. To calculate the average marks, we will consider that. But when it comes to entrance examination, all these subjects will be common and they will have equal weightage. So it is not particularly for BSc in nursing or BSc in anesthesia or BSc in radiography. So marks will be equally divided for all the subjects because it is a common entrance examination. Okay, ma'am. Okay, thank you. I'm clear, ma'am. Yeah, thank you. They can appear. The students who are studied a science group can appear for this entrance examination. Even though they have had maths in the this one, PCMB, they can study because they have also English also, no? Only when calculating the eligibility marks, no, they will calculate English. They will leave the maths. For the radiography, they will add maths. So like that. Okay, ma'am. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much, ma'am. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, but I think um, the question that they asked was whether mathematics questions will be there in the entrance test or not. Ah, correct. That is the question. So, no, no uh, mathematics questions, sir. No, 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 mathematics questions are not there. Mm. No, it's not. Okay, ma'am, okay. So, Murugan, sir, we can move the next part of the discussion, sir. Yeah, yeah. Yes. So, uh, you want me to tell the scope of nursing or something you want to know more? Yes, ma'am, yes. Please go ahead. Yes. Uh, can I share the PPT, sir? Morgan, sir, can you uh, do me sure, uh, sure, co host? Sure. Sure, yeah, sure. co host so that I can share my yeah. PPTs. Yes, yes. Can you see the PPTs? Yes, ma'am. Yes, it's visible. Yes. Yes. Uh, a very uh, good evening to all. So, uh, College of Nursing Nimhan started in the year 2006. So, thereof, uh, then, uh, then after, uh, the, thereafter, 
So we have started the course with the 77 students intake. So now we are having the intake of 85 students. So the main, uh, what is called the aim or the uh, aim of the uh, course is the quality nursing education, investing in human health, human resource. So we need to, uh, because there is a, uh, according to WHO, there are 9 million nurses are required at the, uh, by the uh, end of the 2030. So we need to have more nurses and uh, I think uh, we re require more uh, nurses to be trained. So I think that this on that uh, note only, Nimhans has taken a major step to start BSc nursing. The mission is quality nursing care through quality nursing education. So uh, the uh, we are uh, the National Institute of uh, 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 Mental Health and Neurosciences nestled at the forefront of healthcare innovation. NIMHAN stands as a beacon of inspiration and en empowerment for aspiring nurses seeking to navigate the complexities of mental health and neurosciences. Here, the students who are prepared in, uh, in nursing are uh, being absorbed immediately. They have give, given a very good uh, training and it is one of the best uh, uh, mental health and neuroscience hospitals in the Southeast Asia. And many uh, experts experts are there, and uh, we have very good patient care, and uh, we have all the facilities, uh, state of art facilities are there. So why we have to select BSc nursing at Nimhans? So for that, I have prepared one 14 points where you need to uh, 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 think when you want to uh, apply for uh, Nimhans uh, BSc nursing at Nimhans. So it is one of the prestigious institution. So you want to become a very good nurse and you want to gain your uh, reputation or you want to really want to be a real professional in nursing, then I think your first choice should be Nimans. So Nimans is renowned, renowned globally for its excellence in mental health and neurosciences education, offering prestige, uh, uh, prestige and recognition in the nursing field. This reputation attracts top tier faculty and students, fostering an environment and academic excellence innovation. So we stand on the fourth well, in the whole India when the ranking, we are standing on the fourth uh, place. All India I mean, uh, aims stand first, but we stand on the fourth uh, place. Expert faculty, the college, we have a well-trained uh, teachers are there and they have well experienced. Nobody is less than 20 years. So all uh, and most of the uh, teachers who are there in uh, Nimhans, uh, the College of Nursing, they are all worked at Nimhans also and they have uh, post-graduated from Nimhans. And we have teachers from other institutions all over India, trained nurses, uh, nursing teachers are there. So they will definitely give you mentorship and guidance and students benefit from their wealth of knowledge and experience, preparing them to excel in their nursing career. And cutting edge curriculum. So we have a curriculum from Indian Nursing Council, and we also have kind of modification by the our own institution. So we see that whatever the in uh, uh, the, the curriculum uh, the uh, gives, so the, we also incorporate all that in, into practice, and we'll give them the best uh, technology, emerging technology, and we are using interdisciplinary. We have a very good interdisciplinary uh, sciences are there and we take their help and they are the resources, uh, interdepartmental resources are there. So we take them and students get overall development and uh, they will emerge as a very good nurses in future. Then state of art facilities, I told you, and these facilities, we send the students to Nimans Hospital also, as well as all the, we have a MOU with all the government hospitals. So we will send them there also like uh, uh, Victoria, uh, Vani Villas and uh, Victoria for all the general, because Nimans only we have mental health and neurosciences. For uh, uh, Victoria, we send them for general, like other, uh, uh, like uh, new uh, you know, euro and uh, uh, kidney problems and uh, uh, the intestinal problems. So those such cases, we will send them there. And Vani Villas will send them for the conducting delivery OBG, we conduct uh, deliveries and taking care of the asthma, newborn babies. So we send them to Vani Villas. Also, we have a hospital nearby next to uh, Nimhans compound called uh, Indira Gandhi Institute of uh, Child Health. So there also students are posted. So uh, apart from that, we have 
cardiology, we have a Jaydeva Institute of Cardiology is uh, affiliated to our institution. So all this, and we'll see that, and so constant supervision will be there by our teachers. So that will really fostering a culture of continuous learning and professional growth. Teaching methodology, we have used latest uh, teaching methodologies with the simulation, uh, labs are there, and uh, with uh, all that, whatever mentioned in the syllabus, methods of uh, uh, methodologies, we adapt all those things and they will get a very best uh, training in our institution. Then clinical training, as I told you, so and also the students will go to the community. Nimans has a community setup also at Sakalabara, so we'll send them there also. And also to the uh, urban uh, primary health center and rural uh, primary health center. Then interdisciplinary, I told you, we have departments like microbiology, biochemistry, and uh, neurophysiology. All these <coughs> departments, radiology, all the experts will come and take classes, sociology, uh, psychiatric, social work departments, they take sociology. So like that, many departments are there and the experts will come and lend their uh, help. And also our teachers also will take all the classes, anatomy, physiology. Uh, so all that classes they will also take. And uh, we also pros process state and national scholarships and other uh, scholarships are processed for the student benefits. Here our, our students, all of them are getting uh, uh, um, scholarships, especially Kerala students have Momo scholarship, minority scholarships are there and uh, even state and uh, national scholarship. And we, we and our uh, faculty only the nodal officers. I am the nodal officer for the state and uh, uh, Dr. Sh Shri Kumar sir also the nodal officer. And so like that we have uh, uh, faculty from uh, and we will see that uh, it will be uh, processed as early as possible. Then the research students also get the uh, opportunity to participate in the research projects, gaining valuable research skills and contributing to the evidence-based practices. Now we are talking about so much about evidence-based practice. So that is also practiced and uh, we'll see that the students also a part of and at the, the third year, I think sixth semester, they have a research project also. Our students, uh, our teachers are the guides and they will be guided and uh, very good topics, uh, the, the burning topics are the latest uh, uh, issues of the uh, healthcare. So they will take the uh, topics and they will do the project work. That is an asset for the students. Whenever they apply for the job, they will see what project they have done, what research they have done, how many research papers they have done. That is more important. Then professional development, they will get an ample of opportunity to explore because Nimans is a ocean of knowledge. Every day there will be one or the other conferences, workshop, and they have, they are the center of attraction, our students. So they will be called for almost all the conferences and uh, workshops, and they will be given opportunity to exhibit also. So they're through uh, 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 this one, po po poster, po poster uh, the exhibitions are maybe modeling also, and they will do models. And we have a very big event called Science uh, Day also we celebrate. All major health days have been, uh, uh, will be celebrated in our, like uh, this uh, month, like Mental Health Day we celebrated. And uh, so like that all the international health days are celebrated at Nimhans and students are in the forefront and they prepare most of them they prepare role play mime and uh, they will exhibit all the talents and they will be given ample opportunity to exhibit their uh, ta talents and also opportunities such as conferences workshop certifications and advanced degrees to stay abreast of emerging trends and best practices because we have a digital academy and they can undergo many courses. Okay, most of them, uh, some, many of them are interested to even work in at Nimans after the completion. So whichever may be the possible way, they will be absorbed in the projects and uh, even when they write the entrance exam for the job, so they will be absorbed also and they will get some, most of, many of them are working here. Then quality assurance. So the uh, the the initiative uh, the within uh, industry standards meet the evolving needs of healthcare practice. Rigorous assessment and evaluation process also it takes place in the in our. So they will be also pro, 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 part of this uh, quality assurance. They also learn how to do the assessment. So this the by upholding high standards of education and excellence.
the college prepares graduates to meet the demands of dynamic and rapidly evolving healthcare environment. Then came community engagement. They do number of, we have a very active NSSL, National Service Scheme, and also we have called as in nursing, uh, the Student Nurses Association, it's a registered body in the central registered body. They conduct a lot of activities. We conduct a lot of uh, meetings we conduct and we will make them uh, as a leaders, uh, health leaders and cultural leaders, sports leaders. And in Nimhans, uh, institution day, before institution, they conduct all sorts of uh, competitions, uh, sports competitions, um, uh, cultural competitions and literary competitions. All that our students are always back uh, uh, prizes, even outside the college also, outside the university also. So this is also, we'll engage them and they go to the community, conduct some camps, health camps, and they also provide, uh, the, they are the active participant, uh, they actively participate in national pulse polio programs and many other uh, national health programs, they will they are the very active members or volunteers also, they work as volunteers also. Then global exchange programs also skill. So the, our teachers will be going abroad and learning and they will coming and uh, giving the knowledge. So they are the, some of them are the master trainers. So all this happens. Then comes the global impact of uh, Nimans alumni. They, our alumni are there throughout the world. So they are working in many areas and they are uh, they're bringing laurels to the institution. They have been given awards and they have been given appreciation letters and uh, they are uh, they are, they will be uh, absorbed quickly when they say Nimhan's name any interview board the, the first preference will be given to the Nimhan students so that is how the Nimhan's and alumni uh, we have an alumni association and uh, now we are celebrating 70th year of uh, Nimhan's existence so we are having a very big mega event on July. So we all alumni are inv invited to meet and we uh, also, they are, they have a very good networking. So they will help each other. So this is how our uh, the alumni also, uh, the, this global network of alumni continues to uphold the legacy of excellence associated with the college, further solidify its reputation as a premier institution in mental health and neurosciences. So they are the best when it comes to their assessment in neuro and mental health they are the best. So uh, I think uh, with uh, these, I think these are the opportunities if they uh, uh, admit in the Nimhans College of Nursing, they can get all these benefits. So this is an opportunity for every child uh, after a PUC if they want to opt for BSc Nursing and there is no uh, there is no day is jobless. They they can work any settings. They can work in the clinic. Uh, the, this one hospitals, variety of hospitals are there. Specialties hospitals are there. Multi speciality hospitals are there. They can work in the as a school health nurse, industrial nurse, and they can work in many areas. They can become the administrators. They can become the principals, lecturers. They can professors, and uh, they can uh, uh, do lot of research. And uh, they 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 get lot of other uh, designation nurse, educator, uh, diabetic nurse. They can become a, the as the medical field advances, the nurses are there in that particular sub specialities. So there are so many specialty in M they, after BSc they can also do masters in um, um, ment mental health nursing, then neuro nursing, then critical care nursing. They can do it in community health nursing uh, and obstetric and gynecological nursing, pediatric nursing. They can become res researchers. So all these are there and they can do their PhD also and postdoctoral degree also. So this is how, and many of our students are doing, uh, uh, they're, they're going abroad and they write the ILTS examination, they take up. And many of uh, the nearly 42, we did a survey, nearely 42 to 45 uh, percent of st students are working at uh, India and uh, many of them are abroad. So like that, and they, some of them are working in NGOs also. So like that, you have a very good opportunity. I think the uh, scope is very wide, very wide for nurses. Thank you for listening. Any other doubts I can answer. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Thank, thank you so much. much.
ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் இப்போ பிஎஸ்சி நர்சிங் கோர்ஸ் ரிலேட்டடா டீடைல்டா மேம் நம்மளுக்கு இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் கொடுத்தாங்க ஸோ பிஎஸ்சி நர்சிங் கோர்ஸ்னா என்ன ஒன்ஸ் ஜாயின் பண்ணதுக்கு அப்புறம் நிம்ஹான்ஸ்ல கரிக்குலம் என்ன மாதிரியான கரிக்குலம் இருக்கு எங்கெல்லாம் இன்டர்ன்ஷிப் நம்மளுக்கு இருக்கு இன்டர்ன்ஷிப் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸை பத்தி டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணிருக்கிறாங்க தென் நம்மளுக்கு இருக்கக்கூடிய ஒய்ட் ஆப்பர்ச்சுனிட்டிஸ் ஒன்ஸ் நம்ம பிஎஸ்சி நர்சிங் முடிச்சதுக்கு அப்புறம் என்னென்ன மாதிரியான ஜாப்ஸ் உங்களுக்கு கிடைக்கும் அதை பத்தியுமே அவங்க டிஸ்கஸ் பண்ணாங்க இப்போ ஜாப்ஸ் இல்லை நான் மாஸ்டர் தான் பண்ணணும்னு ஆசைப்படுறேன் அப்படின்னா நீங்க மாஸ்டர்ஸ் என்னென்ன ஸ்பெஷலைசேஷன்ல பண்ணலாம் அதை பத்தினா நம்மளுக்கு டீடைல்டான இன்ஃபர்மேஷன் கொடுத்தாங்க ஸோ இது ரிலேட்டடா உங்களுக்கு ஃபர்தரா ஏதாவது கிளாரிபிகேஷன் தேவை அப்படின்னா நீங்க அன்மியூட் பண்ணிட்டு கேளுங்க அப்படி இல்லைன்னா சாட் பாக்ஸ்ல கூட நீங்க மென்ஷன் பண்ணுங்க பிஎஸ்சி நர்சிங் கோர்ஸ் ரிலேட்டடா மட்டும் ஏதாவது கிளாரிபிகேஷன் தேவை அப்படின்னா இப்போ நீங்க அந்த கொஸ்டின்ஸ் நீங்க ரைஸ் பண்ணுவேன் you should not hesitate you should ask questions more and more questions then only you will have uh, you will uh, you will not have doubts anything in the chat box so that you can In the course, if there is a doubt, then we will go for the next course. Okay. Madam, if there is a doubt, then we can go for the next course. Yes, sir. Yes. Please go ahead. Yes, sir. Okay. Sri Kumar, sir. Hello. Sri Kumar, sir, are you online? Yes, sir. I am online. Sir, are you talking about the BCMT course? Are you talking about the official growth? Once they complete your BCMT course, பர்தீப் ஒன்ஸ்ட்ர uh they have like lot of scope and um, uh, they usually you know when they pass out from uh, our institute uh, they usually you know they can do a basic job from uh, a radiographer to the like mri specialist ct specialist uh, with the companies like philip seaman ge so our like present students alumni students they are working as a specialist in these these companies and also many of the students now have you know working with the uh, nih uk also so uh, this course uh, this course provides you you know a skill which you can you know use any in any hospital and work as a radiographer and apart from that if any student wants to you know continue its academic uh, 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 journey so we are now starting uh, uh, this uh, uh, masters in imaging technology so they can do masters and then we are also uh, you know already uh, 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 this uh, phd is going on so they can join phd onwards so if student choice whatever they want to do and they have a lot of scope uh, as per, as per career wise and academic uh, wise as, as, as well so we uh, they can the student who work with us uh, like we have eight mris and then we have uh, basic modalities like ct x ray and then we have pet also cyclotron also the student will get you know all interdisciplinary experience of different modalities so when they go out they have you know good experience and uh, Uh, they get job very easy so uh, if anyone interested uh, like to, uh, you know acquiring this skill they can join this, this course like the bsc and now it's called uh, it's now this course is called like bsc in medical imaging technology thank you sir if any question you can ask okay. madam if any 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 doubts any questions they can ask us sir hello uh, yes sir yes sir ரிகார்டிங் 
Uh, sir, could you explain about the jobs, sir? What kind of job they will get once they complete their course, sir? Uh, so see, first is first is radiographer. So they can easily get radiographer mm -hmm. job okay. in any private or government hospital or like. Uh, uh, and oh, the other is that these the companies like you know Philips, G, Siemens who make machines like MRI machines, CT and X-ray and PET. So they have uh, these field scientists. They have MRI specialists. So these type of job they offer to our students because our students like you know uh, work with these machines day in day out and interact with engineers so these type of jo jobs they can easily get and then apart from that if they do higher degree they can get few tutor or lecture oh. job in other other oh. you know, again where depend upon the academic field. okay sir okay thank you uh, students, you have any doubt about the Neurophysiology related to the doubt about the Sorry, Neuro Radiology related to the 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 so in the course related as sir explain pannanga so duration then what kind of job ninga once complete pannadukapra endha jobs ungalku kedaikum adha related ah explain pannanga so idhula ungalku edhavadhu puriyala abina kuda ninga kelunga avanga marubadi ungalku explain pannuvaanga nan excel tamil on paper tamil tamil la vera ungalku enna puriyala na solluva na solren nan avanga edhavadhu puriyala sonna na enna solluva na i'll explain it later Students, you can unmute and tell us about the question in the chat box. Students, you can unmute and tell us about the question in the chat box. Students, you can ask a question. Unmute and ask a question. This is a great opportunity. So, in the UG courses, you can ask an admission for UG courses. It's a big opportunity. So, that's why you can ask a question. Yes, sir. 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 Now, Neuro-Radiology, PSC Nursing, and Tavira, do you have any doubt about it? I don't know if you have an email. I don't know if you have an ID or a share. I don't know if you have an admissions and quarters. I don't know if you have an email. I don't know if you have an email. I don't know if you have a phone number. You can call to any of our lab and you can ask your doubts. Oh, Murugan sir, a neurophysiology department layer in the Sri Kumar sir, I think he has joined. So, uh -huh. sir, discuss panna sir. Further, uh, neurophysiology course, pati and the course na yenna, then what are the wide opportunities it has? Other pati gonna discuss panna sir. Uh, unfortunately, although I belong to the department of neurophysiology, the course oh, okay, sir. done by the department of neurology. Uh -huh. I am here as nodal officer of the course. Sri Kumar sir is a nodal officer, ma. So if anything related to our scholarship, in the same way, they will get the students are eligible to get the scholarship. And the scholarship one day, the government of Karnataka is giving, or you can all India level also, you can apply for the scholarship. Or you can apply the government of Karnataka also, you can apply the scholarship. And in the scholarship, it has to be rooted through our nodal officer only. So Dr. Sri Kumar sir will take care of all the scholarship pattern and the sari. Aduh, apa ni? Yar itu berono, yang ke ampuno, ini, 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 ini College of Nursing and other department uh, like Radiology, Anesthesia, and the other department, we are taking the uh, if honest, uh, nursing department, the scholarship is pending, we will do it in the academic section, we do through the Sri Kumar Sir.
sir anything else sir you want to share anything sir sirkuma sir yes sir just a couple of things one uh, i think similar to what dr kartyani already told um, so there are scholarships available for ug students uh, i think dr kartyani was mentioning about how you know uh, students from the minority communities or uh, now we have what is called as top class institute uh, scholarship which is provided by the respective ministries for example it should be from the ministry of social justice or from the ministry of uh, minority affairs all of these uh, ministries provide the scholarships to students who uh, you know take up these undergraduate courses so uh, nimhans and uh, the respective departments will coordinate and facilitate the you know availing of these scholarships uh, this, is, this is about the scholarships you know Um, although i don't belong to department of neurology uh, one thing i can tell you about uh, clinical neurophysiology is that uh, so uh, so you must have seen you know whenever uh, you know somebody has a uh, fits or what we call as epilepsy so they will uh, you know the um, patient will be told to undergo what is called as eeg electroencephalography that is what is called so these eegs are actually uh, you know they're taken by the uh, clinical neurophysiology technicians and this earlier this course was actually called as diploma in clinical neurophysiology technology and um, now this we have con converted that into a you know full fledged undergraduate course so essentially one of the aspects would be to train the students to to be able to you know take the eeg measurements or even uh, you know emg you know the electromyography wherein they will measure say for example there might be uh, patients who have muscle disorders uh, so there are diseases something called as uh, amyotrophic lateral sclerosis wherein the muscle has you know weakness so in those kind of uh, diseases you need to measure the what is called as the emg electromyography so all of these are actually done by these uh you know clinical neurophysiology technicians and subsequently the neurologists would uh, you know look at these reports to uh you know to come up with the diagnosis so the clinical neurophysiology this course is essentially to train them to become clinical neurophysiology techni uh, technicians so uh, of course i don't have more details on uh, you know uh, of course the in terms of um um uh, you know the career pr prospects obviously uh, there is a lot of demand for these clinical neurophysiology technicians across india and even abroad because uh, every uh, hospital which would have uh, you know neurology for neurology neurosurgery or one of these uh, allied disciplines would certainly require the uh, presence of these neurophysiology technicians uh so uh, that's how you know the in terms of career prospects it has very good uh, career prospects so if you have more questions on this i think you can put it in the chat box or even ask it uh and maybe um, sumurgan and the team can uh, you know consult with the department of neurology and uh, uh, you know give you answers to those questions ஸ்டூடெண்ட்ஸ் உங்களுக்கு வேற ஏதாவது டவுட் இருக்கு அப்படின்னா நீங்க அன்மியூட் பண்ணிட்டு கேளுங்க அப்படி இல்லைன்னா சாட் பாக்ஸ்ல கூட உங்க கொஸ்டின்ஸ் கேட்கலாம் இப்ப ஆன்சர் பண்ண முடியல வந்து கன்சல்ட் பண்ணிட்டு அதுக்கப்புறம் <laughs> 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 Sir, your voice is not audible, Dr. Gopal Krishna. Sir, why is not audible, sir?
not clear. Your, your voice is not clear. Not audible at all. Can you, maybe what you can try is, can you please disconnect the audio and reconnect? Maybe that will help. Hello, hello, no madam, check in uh, Yes, sir. Uh, sir, sir Gopal Krishan, sir, I'm join Pandangla. Like, I think he is uh, disconnecting yeah, and joining again. No, 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 audio problem is there, anesthesia okay. department. So, if anything is there, you can tell the UP students to uh, uh, send an email to uh, our, uh, this one, ma'am. Okay, sure, they, sir, sure. They can put, they can put it in the chat, chat box, sir, sir, I will... Yeah. Yes. Uh, yeah. Am I audible now? Yes, yes. Now uh, yes, yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. This is regarding uh, BSc in anesthesia technology course. Okay. It is a three-year course and uh, one-year internship. Uh, okay. Usually, those who are joining uh, BSc in anesthesia technology course, they basically they will be working in operation theater and uh, ICUs. In operation theater, usually they have to uh, assist uh, anesthetist in giving. Anesthesia, like general anesthesia, mostly will be giving here, or other regional anesthesia or local anesthesia. Uh, uh, after completing the course, uh, they have a, a lot of scope, like especially uh, in both corporate and uh, government uh, uh, setup, where you can work as an anesthesia technician. Because in most of the hospitals, you have operation there, they will be giving anesthesia, either it is general anesthesia or regional anesthesia, and they have a good scope outside. And also in abroad, especially in uh, operation theater, and even in intensive care also. So there is a good opportunity for them if they work, uh, 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 if they take up this course uh, at Niman. If they have any other... I can ask them, like I can reply to them. So they, sir, they are, they are asking about the growth, sir. After this VHC nursing, and next what level they can go for the further in the in the, the field of studies as well as in the, the field of uh, or uh, where they'll stand after the VHC nursing. So the VHC uh, yeah. Uh, after this, either they can do uh, uh, MSc also. Uh, but usually, uh, those who are doing BSc in analogy, uh, they end up in uh, like working as a uh, technologist, like anesthesia technologist in one corporate or uh, uh, government setup. And a few of our students have gone like uh, to abroad, like uh, in UK, like they are working in uh, NHS and even in Australia also. Uh, so for anesthesia technician, there is a good scope. Uh, for working in operation theater. And if they want to do any research also, uh, they can uh, do like after doing the, uh, like a, they can do uh, like uh, MSc uh, in, uh, it is not there in India, but in abroad it is there, like MSc in anesthesia technology. And of course they can do PhD also, right sir? Yeah, PhD, uh, yeah, it is, in India it is not there, uh, but uh, uh, like in AIMS, I don't know, they, uh, only in AIMS, they have some uh, like research post where they can do PhD also.
thank you sir no madam is that the doubt technology is the doubt you are telling sure sir uh, students uh, ungalku uh, indha nama naalu course nama discuss panirukrom bsc nursing bsc anesthesiology radiology so idhula ungalku indha course related ah edavadhu doubt irukku appadina neenga kekkala unmute pannite kelunga appadi illana chat box la kuda neenga podunga ma Uh, sir, could you explain about the curriculum, sir, for the anesthesia technology course and what kind of exposure they have, they will have once they get in into the course, sir? Because in NIMHANS, it's more about uh, neuro-related neuro patients only they come and are they allowed to see those Basic, kind of patients? Uh, Hello? Ah, yes, sir, yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, initially, they'll have uh, like uh, basic uh, subjects like anatomy, physiology, and uh, by uh, like uh, those subjects uh, like usually anatomy and physiology is important for them so those uh, classes will be there for them uh, like ot uh, we'll be teaching them like uh, uh, how to maintain the aseptic precautions and regarding the anesthetic drugs uh, how to load and how to assist the anesthetist for example how to give anesthesia when we are giving anesthesia like how to load the drugs and uh, when we want to uh, like uh, give general anesthesia, we have to intubate the patient. So how to prepare uh, the drugs and equipment for intubation and monitoring the patient under anesthesia, those things will be taught. And even in the post-op, they will be taught about how to monitor the patients. Uh, uh, and in ICU also, they will be taught about how to uh, manage the patient on ventilators. Okay, patients on ventilator like what to monitor and uh, what to look for. Those things will be taught in the ICU. So they basically, they'll be working in both operation theater and the ICU. Accordingly, they'll have different subjects like first year, second year, and final year. Usually first year, they'll have basic uh, anatomy, physiology will be there. Then second year, pharmacology, pathology, those subjects will be there. And finally, they'll have medicine, surgery, and OBG will be there in the final year course and accordingly they will be posted in different OTs like for example uh, NIMANS is uh, only we have only neurosurgery operations have been done uh, for general surgery and for other OBG surgeries they will be sent to the other hospital for uh, in a year they will be sent like for three months they will be sent to the other hospital so that they can see other general surgeries OBG surgeries and even pediatric surgery they'll be, and for even the cardiac surgery, they'll be sent to the other hospital so that they'll be knowing uh, how to give anesthesia for these kind of cases. So if you have any other doubt, I can cl clarify. It is a like broad, uh, this one. So I have told you in only brief uh, lead. Uh, sir, one more uh, clarification, sir, I need. Uh, like mm -hmm. a BSc nursing students, because for the BSc nursing students, once they complete the course, they have an internship. That also they can do their internship in NIMHANS itself. Uh, like that for the anesthesia technology students also, are they having internships, sir, once they complete their course in NIMHANS itself? One, yeah, after completing three years course, they have option of working for one year. And uh, they'll be uh, paid for that also. Uh, okay. So what about the salary, sir? How much uh, they can earn once they complete the course, like the fresher? I think uh, Murugan can answer this.
right now all the i think ug students uh, post internship they are getting 13500 13500 and their hostel is free hostel is free and for food they have to pay from their own pocket food they have to pay yes yes, yes. mess mess charges is mess they have to pay for mess they have to pay from their own pocket but accommodation is free any other doubt madam no madam and we have some question in chat box, sir. Uh, yeah, so that is your answer. Answer that one. Tell me. Tell me. Sir, they want to know about the books, sir. Reference books to clarify the exam. Like, that to prepare the exam. Kathiani, ma'am, has to answer for that. Yeah, yeah. They, the books, you know, for the entrance, you're asking. No, yes. we have a very good library. You can borrow the books and you can be in the library. And uh, we also, in College of Nursing, we have a library. Ma'am, ma 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 get... ma ma they are from <coughs> Tamil Nadu. So they want to, which yes, are the books yes. they can read? Which are the books? If you know any reference book, you can give the name of the books so that they can sit right and sit and read the, over there. For the uh, entrance, you are telling? Entrance. Yeah, entrance, entrance. Yes, yeah. yes ma'am. It's about the entrance, entrance ma'am. Yes. Ah, entrance, ma, wow, uh, the college in the Padikiranga, they cover books, eh? PCB, PCMB, are they books? Tha? English, are they books? Tha? Only general knowledge, they have to read papers, magazines, oh. and they should get uh, updated with the latest uh, technology or health related oh. uh, this one uh, inventions and other things. Some general, yeah, some general books. That's awesome. Yeah, general yeah. knowledge books they can refer. It is not out of syllabus. Whatever the PUC, PCMB yeah. syllabus is there, that's the same syllabus we follow. And any of maths is not there. For any any exams, uh, uh, math, math uh. is not there. It's a, Since it's a common exam, mathematics is not there. They don't need to worry about the mathematics. They can concentrate only on the <clears throat> subject, that is uh, physics, chemistry, and biology, biology. English. These English. are the four subjects. They have to concentrate and general knowledge. Apart from that, some general knowledge books, they have to go through the general knowledge and current affairs. What are the current events and that if they go through, then they can easily they can appear for this exam. Is it right, ma'am? Uh, yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Students, you okay. have a further question, you can unmute and you can go to the chat box. Morgan, sir, I'm yes, leaving. Yes, sir. I yes, have one more uh, six yes. o'clock. Yes, ma'am. Thank yes. you. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you and all the best thank for you. everyone. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much for joining with us, ma'am. Thank you so much. Mohammed, where are the questions? Uh, sir, let me check, sir. sir. Students, if you have any questions, you can unmute in the chat box. Sir, you have to unmute in the chat box. Sir, you I think there are no more questions, sir. Students, if you have any clarifications, doubts, we will definitely get back to you, sir, through the mail ID. You, you have also already shared the mail. Okay, ma'am. Okay, so thank you. Thank you everyone for joining with us. Uh, Mr. Murugan and Dr. Karthi Ayini, Principal of Nursing College and Dr. Shri Kumar, Nodal Officer and uh, Dr. Kopala Krishnan. Thank you everyone for joining with us. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. If you have any doubt, definitely you can get back to us. We have shared in our uh, office uh, email ID and you can share or you can give a call and our phone number, you know my phone numbers. And uh, apart from that, I will share some uh, some of our uh, uh, landline numbers, numbers too. I'll share, I'll share with you people. You can call anytime. Any questions you, you can, you can uh, ask any question. We will try to get it from the department. What are the answers are relevant to the questions? Definitely we'll pass it on you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Kumar, sir. And Gopal Krishna, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much for Bye. joining with us. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye.